we transform our 10 year old beat up cabinets that look like this into cabinets that look like this. In today's video, we're painting the kitchen cabinets. We're painting the cabinets because the kitchen looks dark and it's 10 years old and we really wanted to brighten it up and I wanted to be able to make great videos in the kitchen that didn't have a yellowish light in them and the more light the better when making videos. So the cabinets are getting painted white. This is gonna be a lot of work. We'll try to make it as entertaining as possible for you. Try not to feel like DIYing your own cabinets is too much work. You can paint them any color you want, but always think about how much light you want to bring into the room and the fact that someday, on the off chance that you might sell your house, you want these cabinets to appear timeless. And white cabinets have the advantage of uh, looking like they could be from the 1920s anytime up until present. The dark wood cabinets just look really 1980s, 1990s. Gotta have safety glasses. magical. I don't think you realize how many cabinet drawers and doors you have until you take them down and start painting them. Got the wrong size tray, so that's my painting tray. Did you know Home Depot failed in China? Because the people who fix up their houses do not like to do the work for themselves. They don't do DIY like Americans. Americans are so proud of themselves for doing DIY. Chinese mm -hmm. are like, you couldn't afford to have somebody do that for you. Basically, it changes the color of the walls. Because the door and the walls are the same color, the door just looks dirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the door looks dirty. <laughs> I hate that. We're gonna have to wash it before we paint it.
I am super excited that it's starting to look like something. Yeah, like this This is gonna make so much difference. This this bright. The door, oh man, no doubt. It's, I think even just putting one little splash of paint, you're gonna look at it and go, oh wow, now the kitchen. Because it, what it's gonna do is negate the wall color. It's gonna negate the wall color. It's gonna make this a unit. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it's gonna make everything unified. You know what I didn't do? I hope this stuff seals because I didn't wash <laughs> the paint. I mean, I didn't wash this door. The door. I meant to wash it. Yeah. I bought the good stuff. It's in the animal, it should stick to dirt. It should stick to dirt. Well, well if it doesn't, if it comes through, I'll just paint it some more. Well, what does it mean remember. to know that one is alive? Video cameras work best with lots of natural light, and where you don't have natural light, it's best to add light by having everything in the room be white. That helps reflect light instead of absorbing it. Hi, I'm Julie Silversmith. This is my video about what are you looking at like that for? Cut! Do I need to do it again? I think I need to move, so bye. Hi, this is Julie. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to another It's like that. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Like that. Like it's completely breathless. They're like in a hurry. It's, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Starting whatever project you're going to do. The problem is starting. What are you laughing about now? <laughs> While I was painting the kitchen, I started listening to videos about changing your life and making changes for the better, and I decided to go on a diet. I don't recommend this course of action. <laughs> don't spend hours in your kitchen right after you decided you're only eating 1,200 calories per day. During the whole process of doing the cabinets every morning, I started walking and I would either walk, you know, a mile or three miles most days, or 2.8 miles some days. It was pretty tiring. I'd wake up, I'd do my chores with the chickens and the rabbits, get a glass of water, and then put my walking clothes on and get out walking for maybe an hour. And then I'd come back and then I would just get down to work. And the only thing, like the only thing I did, other than like cook meals and you know, watch one show before going to bed. The only thing I did all week was pretty much do these cabinets. I hardly did any uh, drawing. I had classes though, so I had to clean up my, my workspace. I had to clean up my studio space where I was doing some of the painting in order to, you know, shift in and have classes and then 
put everything back out again and start painting on it again. So it was a little bit complicated. Since I have a real flexible career, I had time to do all this stuff. And I've heard there are different methods, but this is the method that was recommended to us by the lady at the paint counter. My sister did a process which included deglossing and then priming and then painting. So we used kind of an, a deglossing primer instead. Oh, and then at the end, after she painted on her paint, then she painted on enamel. So we got a combined paint, which is enamel paint, and therefore hopefully skipping two steps in there, and I hope it works. I don't know. I'm gonna hopefully see her cabinets later this week because we're, we're in, uh, this is a hotel room. We're in Albuquerque right now, and I hope to visit her house at the end of the week when she gets back from the All-Star game. Lucky dog.